Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ritnika and this is Natural Vibrations. I am back with your August uh, monthly Twin Flame reading. Uh, I hope you guys managed to survive the, the eclipse full moon. I did feel the energy is quite strong. Um, if you haven't checked out the video of what's happening with the Divine Masculine and Feminine, please do check them out. I have uploaded a bunch of videos about that. A um, lot of shifts are happening, a lot of changes are happening, and they'll continue to happen. The Lion's Gate is coming up, which is 8th August, 888. Well, not 888, it's 889. <laughs> uh, wait, are we 888? We're in 2018, right? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> anyway, there are big changes happening on both sides, so I'm just going to jump right in. I've done things a bit differently. I've got the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, as well as what's happening in the Union. So I've got more information about Union as well as individuals here. Um, I will do another reading for the Gateway closer to it to see what's happening at that point as well. All right, let's just jump right in. What's happening with the Divine Masculine in his spiritual? We've got love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provide a sense of security and self-worth and importance. So what's happening right now in the divine uh, masculine spiritual level is that he is now sort of paying attention to love. You know, he's taking his focus away from the past shit that's gone down between you guys, between him and other people, but things that he blames himself for, everything. So whatever it is that he feels is happening, he is now sort of moving past that. And he is now going to be focusing more on self-love, love for everyone else, because love makes a big difference. Once you start relating back to love, all the past shit falls away. And that's what he's doing. He's also got slow down. When you're excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold. This could also mean that the divine masculine is trying really hard to sort of control things, they want things to happen really quickly. They might want to sort of, uh, you know, they might be waiting for certain things to fall into place before they can sort of head towards union or whatever that be. Could be work, could be family, could be karmics. The universe is saying is, I know that they that they are very much in a hurry to make things happen, but they sort of need to take a little bit of time and focus on you know, self-love and self-importance. It's very important not to rush into anything. So for some of you might be thinking, oh, my divine masculine hasn't done anything. He needs to move. Well, he is moving. It just, he, he needs to sort of also take it slowly. He can't just jump right in and then you don't want him to come back to you and then go back, you know, break up again because they want that quiet time to get shit in order. So the, the universe is saying is relax. You don't need to force things to happen, Divine Masculine. Everything is happening, whoops, according to Divine Timing. What's happening with the Divine uh, Feminine Spiritual Plane? We've got back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you love. This message, every notice, is very similar to what the Divine Masculine got, which is focused on love. In this, what we're talking about is the Divine Feminine in her spiritual plane is now focusing more on what brings her happiness and what brings her joy. She's sort of cutting out situations and people that no longer serve her. You know, I can relate to this for sure. A lot of us tend to sort of uh, put up with situations because we feel that we must or that there's no other option. But now a lot of divine feminines are like, you know what, this does not make me happy. I need to focus on what makes me happy. I need to focus on what, you know, what I can do to be completely fulfilled, to be completely happy. And that is what a lot of people will be focusing on, you know, in the divine feminine sector or whatever part. <laughs> now, please realize that divine feminine don't, doesn't have to be the woman. It can also be the man. It's just the energies we, we have. All of us have the divine feminine as well as the divine masculine within us. And at the end, we need to have a balance of these energies at all times to make sure that, you know, we grow and heal and become the kind of person we're meant to be. All right. What has the divine masculine got in this heart space? We've got consider your foundation. You're being asked to look at how committed you are to love. So one of the things the divine masculine is working on in his heart space is just understanding, is to understanding that uh, is he really committed to his feminine 
you know, a lot of changes have to be made and a lot of changes have been made. He might have to cut out karmic relationship, change his pattern of thinking, move from places, whatever it is. There's a lot of changes that need to happen. And sometimes we need to ask ourselves, are we really committed? Do we really want a divine feminine? Do we really want a happily ever after? If we do, then we have to make the changes we are focused to. We have to really be committed. At the same time, he's also got you are limitless. Recognize this truth that you can do anything you choose to do. So this is a great thing. What's happening is the divine masculine is now truly understanding what it is like to be committed to his divine feminine. Up till now, he has had doubts. But now, he is looking at, he's understanding that he is completely limitless, that anything is possible. There's that hope that he did not have earlier. He's feeling completely hopeful and he's like, you know what? Anything is possible and I am now totally committed to this and I can be committed to this. Up till now, the Divine Masculine had gotten this card where he's like, okay, are you truly committed? And he's like scared or he's like, no, I'm not committed or I've got all these issues. But right now he's like, I am committed because guess what? I am limitless. Anything is possible. And when you realize that anything is possible, that anything can happen, you will put in all the effort you want. You will be dedicated to what you want to achieve. So if you notice, the energies are changing and have changed since, you know, since, well, it's been happening for a few months, but they've definitely been changing a lot since the eclipse as well. The Divine Feminine in her heart space has got two of the similar cards. One says, show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. And at the same time, she's got action, speak loudly. Express your love through actions. So again, the Divine Feminine is guided at this time to show love to others. It could be love to her family, to her friends, to her pets. She just needs to have loving thoughts and loving, uh, loving um, words. But this also applies to how she speaks to herself, you know. A lot of times the Divine Feminine ends up having negative thoughts and speaking very negatively towards herself. Like, oh, I can't do it. I'm too fat. I'm too ugly. I'm too this. Well, guess what? The universe is saying you need to stop doing that. You need to speak you need to speak loudly and you need to speak lovingly towards yourself as well as others. If you spread love to other people, if you show kindness and compassion to other people, that is what's going to be reflected back to you. And I feel like a lot of Divine Feminine are now trying to, you know, they understand that guess what? Once you focus back on what you love, which is what makes you happy, you will start being more loving. And in your heart space, you would want to do things that make you happy and make other people happy. Because overall, you have love in your heart, which is great. In the physical, the divine masculine has have faith, trust, trust your faith in this situation, and love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. See, same message. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. So what's happening to the divine masculine is they are now understanding in the physical like guess you know up till now there's been fear you know the one of the reasons why the divine masculine has not reached out has been fear the fear is not that you know the divine there's something wrong with the feminine the fear for a lot of divine masculine is that they're not good enough that they cannot uh, make the divine feminine happy that they have really screwed things up in the past and the divine feminine will never accept them back the way they want to that the divine feminine will think that they are not good enough for them what are, you know all of these kind of fears of what the divine masculine had and that's why they haven't moved forward but now the divine masculine is having faith and trust that guess what even though so much time has gone by love will endure then he's having faith in the fact that there is something the fact that he hasn't gotten over his twin as well that there is something here that is worth exploring up till now there was a little level little bit of fear but that seems to now be dissolving and they're having that faith to move forward and to just choose love the divine feminine in her physical <coughs> has got <coughs> excuse me like attracts like if you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. So first thing the Divine Feminine has got is you need to focus on your energy. Again, going back to showing love to yourself as well as others. If you want love to happen in your life, if you want love to come to you, 
you need to be loving towards others as well as yourself. I often tell people that if you don't have a relationship or if you don't have something in your life, the problem is not the outside world. The problem is your own inner energy. Do you truly believe you deserve it? Do you believe you're lovable? Do you believe that you deserve all the happiness in the world? And if you don't, then you need to do something about it. For example, um, there are some people who are emotional eaters, like I am one of those. And I, every time I get depressed, I tend to put on weight. So you usually when you're depressed, you're basically in a very uh, woe me kind of attitude where you think you suck and you're not good enough and who gives a shit and you know, all of that. The point is when you truly love yourself and you pull out of that depression and you start loving yourself, you will start to sort of get back into shape, eating right, you know, exercising, caring about your health, caring about your welfare, whatever, caring about your house. You know, depressed people usually sometimes have messy house because they just don't care. You know, it just too it's just too much for them to deal with it. But that's the whole point. This is what the card is saying, that if you truly want to have a certain life coming to you, certain love coming to you, you need to be that way towards yourself. You need to have that energy that you already have it. If you already had the love of your life with you, will you be all depressed and longing and when is he coming and when is it happening? No, you're just going to live your life and be happy. And that's what the Divine Feminine now needs to do and now are, plan are moving towards that in the month of August. Divine Feminine also in the 3D has got be willing to express love. When we express love, we begin to receive more love. Same thing I just said. They both talk about the same thing. What you give out is what you get. It's all about your energy and your actions. So Divine Feminine, if you really want your Divine Masculine to come back, you need to focus on yourself and your energy and what you're doing to have love in your life every single day, even without the Divine Masculine. Because guess what? You don't need anybody to fulfill you. You can, there, nobody's job is to come into your life and fulfill you and give you love and give you happiness. You need to have that within. A relationship is just a cherry on top of the Sunday. You still need to have the Sunday with you, all right? All right, let's talk about the union energy. So from the Whispers of Love, these were the Whispers of Love card. I don't know who they're by. I think they're Lana Fairchild. I could be wrong. We've got Embrace Your Emotions. Don't push down your feelings or judge your emotions. Honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner and spend some quality time together. It is imperative that we spend quality time with those we are in a significant relationship with, listening and talking to each other. Okay. So if I look at these three cards together, the first message the universe wants us to know is that it is time for us, the masculine as well as the feminine, to start being honest with ourselves. Stop hiding emotions. Stop, stop you know, lying to yourself. Stop wearing a false mask. You know, look at this guy. He's wearing a guy or girl. I don't even know. He's wearing a false mask, you know. They're not being true to who they are. And now what's going to happen in the month of August is both the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are going to start being honest with themselves, especially the Divine Masculine. They're no longer going to wear the self-mask of, oh, I can't be to do this and I shouldn't, I don't care for this person. None of that shit. It's time for you to start being honest. At the same time, embrace your emotions. For Divine Masculine, they're going to start opening up their heart space in the month of August where they are going to acknowledge truly how they feel for their Divine counterpart. This is very important. Again, it goes back to the false mask where they've been hiding this and now they're going to start facing it. For the Divine Feminine, if you are working on self-love, if you're working on love for yourself, there might be past wounds that might come up. You know, we are in Mercury retrograde and a lot of old shit comes back up to sort of help us clear those issues. So if you have some cycles being repeated, some issues coming back up with certain people and you're feeling sad or depressed or whatever, don't hide it. Let it out. You know, if you want to have a good cry, go for it. It's time for you to acknowledge your feelings and to then allow them to release. Spend some quality time together. This, again, regards to union, 
a lot of masculines and feminines might be getting back together this month. There might be, this is the union energy. So there might be some of them meeting up, spending time together because they're going to start being honest with each other about what they truly feel. So I do believe, again, union is still on the cards, you know. This has been happening for a few months and a lot of people are coming into union, coming into talking, coming from different stages of union where different cycles, different waves, and everybody's cycle is different, but there's still hope for this month for union for quite a few people. From Colette Baron Reed's uh, Wisdom of the Avalon, we've got trust. So this goes back to the trust card that the masculine got. Now it's a for the union energy both the divine masculine and feminine are going to be trusting in this union trusting in this connection and trusting in divine timing we've got the owl deception and wisdom the owl talks about seeing through the deception again going back to the false mask i do this is the same message being reiterated where whoever has been wearing a false mask the divine feminine the divine masculine whatever facade you've been putting up it's month of August is going to bring that crashing down. There is no more of that facade going to be up. There's going to be wisdom. They're going to see through the bullshit. They're going to see and embrace their feelings and understand that this is what it's meant to be because we've also got the B. Same thing, spending time together. Luck, we've got sweet victory. For union energy, this is amazing. If I ask, I ask the universe, what do we need to know about union? And it's luck. Sweet victory. I mean, come on, what more do I have to say about that? Same message over and over again. I feel August is a big month. It is also the Lion's Gateway. A lot of changes are going to happen. And I do feel like a lot of couples will get back into union. I also picked from um, Doreen Virtues, uh, or uh, what do you call it? Uh, Love, the Romance Angel deck, as well as the, I think this is the Archangel deck or something. Sorry. We've got... There's something better. You're ready. And express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now, if I put all these cards together, this is telling us, first of all, there is something better coming out your way, uh, twin flames. For both masculine and feminine, if you feel where you are sucks or you're not happy or you are happy, which is where you should actually be, Either which way they're telling you, guess what? Something better is coming. And you are ready to receive this. If you've been thinking, okay, I'm not ready. This obviously applies. This is a general reading, so may apply to some of you. But you guys are ready. And guess what? This is a message for the divine masculine. Could be also for the divine feminine who are tempted to reach out. If you get that feeling, only you know if it's the right thing for you. Trust your gut. Don't come from a place of fear. That, oh, if I don't reach out, he'll never remember me. No. Reach out if you feel deep down that you need to. Otherwise, this is a message for the divine masculine telling them to go ahead and express their love. They have to trust this and go ahead and express their love, which a lot, a lot of divine masculine will be doing in the month of August. I think this is an absolutely fabulous reading and I can't wait to see how all this turns out. I will connect with you guys. Um, for the, for the Lions Gateway, I just also want to let you know that if you, I am open to readings at the moment. So if you're looking to book a reading, please write to me at naturalvibrationsindia at gmail.com or log on to my website. Uh, there will be some discounts happening very, very soon. I'm probably going to update the website today or tomorrow. But if it isn't updated, please write to me and I will work something out. I know the energies are very strong and it's good to get a reading, a personalized reading to know what's going on within your journey. All right, take care. Bye.